Leave the bedpan in the usual spot. And take the platter. I shan't be eaten today. Professor Shakeslock. Who the blazes? How'd you get in? Get out! I know nothing. Don't wish to know anything. Understand? No, no, no! Out! Not gonna hurt you. That demon sent you. I'm sure of it. What demon? Feigned ignorance. <laughs> Please, you know. Gaunter Old Dim. Evil incarnate. He didn't send me, but he is why I'm here. I'm a witcher. <laughs> a mutant. <laughs> yeah. Could be. Why are there guards outside your door? You a prisoner? Protective custody. That's the phrase. Protective. <laughs> when I cannot decide my own fate, cannot breathe without their permission. What do they want from you? You may not be aware, but I am one of the foremost experts on the occult. Living experts, that is. My mentor was the outstanding Professor Lionel Van... And you're cooperating with the witch hunters now? Cooperating? <laughs> As if I had a choice. They're ignorant. But not enough to ignore what I know about magic, witches, sorceresses, what have you. Knowledge they use for barbaric ends. But that's beyond my control. Came here because I need information. Think you might be the only man who has it. Hmm. A witcher. Then it follows I need not fear. I'm hardly a post-conjunction creature. What did Olgierd von Everick want from you? I curse the day I first set eyes upon the man. He appeared at my doorstep one day, offering a sack of gold were I only to find out who Gaunter Odim is and how to get rid of him. I agreed. Such matters are my speciality. And I needed the coin. I pored over countless tomes, delved into obscure incidents and analysed folk legends. I went so far as to travel to Nilfgaard, the library there, where at last I hit upon the mysterious entity's trail. There are records of encounters dating back thousands of years in many cultures under many names, but always as evil incarnate. In this land, we call him Gaunter Odim. At times, Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. In deciphering the ancient scrawlings, I went blind. Yet I learned a great deal. For example, that he plays with his victims. And thrives on pacts above all else. Seemingly harmless contracts, which drive their parties to madness. Know anything else about the man? Gaunter Odim is no man. He is evil. Evil which assumes various forms. Forget about him or die. You're alive. Alive? Yet I live in constant fear, born of what I've learned about him. What's with the surroundings? These runes, what do they mean? They protect me. Here, evil cannot touch me. How do you know? Told me himself. Paid me a visit once. Fascinating meeting that was. I was blind already, but saw him clearly. He smiled at me. Said he was honoured I'd taken such an interest in him. He wished to thank me, and explained he'd taken a similar interest in me. He drew the circle and said I'd be safe within it. His way of repaying me. Ever tried to leave it? If you'd heard how he said it, you'd be as certain as I am what leaving would bring. Old Geard signed one of these pacts with him? Brilliant deduction. But have you guessed why? You must know that he came from a wealthy, influential line. He must have, if the family of his betrothed accepted him. Yet did you know, his fortune soured. He himself became an outcast, impoverished. Iris's family, a powerful house, could not accept this, would not marry their daughter to a nobody. Olgierd wished to elope. The further away, the better. Yet Iris refused to cut her family ties. Quite the predicament. Indeed. Their luck turned yet darker when a wandering witch mentioned a solution. A man who would grant any wish. 
His name, Master Mirror. The rest follows naturally. All geared and all dim. A meeting at a crossroads. A wish. A pact signed in blood. And a price to be paid. All geared was to sacrifice one he loved. Old Dim delights in difficult choices. He knew Olgierd loved two in this world. His betrothed and his brother, Vladimir. Olgierd chose, and soon thereafter married his beloved Iris. His fortune restored. Olgierd tell you all that? He had to. How else was I to diagnose his case? Make it sound like an illness. It's worse. Many illnesses are treatable. Play with evil. Medicine can be much harder to find. So did Olgierd kill his own brother? No. Oh, no. Deduce, Witcher. Odim acts directly or indirectly. Hmm? Olgierd merely signed the blood letter. The next day, his brother was dead. Why was all geared out to get rid of Odim? He'd gotten what he wanted. Had he? <laughs> his heart had turned cold as ice. His feelings for his wife, for whom he'd sacrificed his brother, had withered. He'd lost all he'd loved. Had he wanted any of this? No. Odim grants what you wish, not what you want. All who sign a pact learn the difference and die by it. All? No way to get rid of him? Kill him, you mean? Kill evil? <laughs> no. Yet the annals tell of a man who dissolved his pact by defeating Old Dim at his own game. Meaning? Old Dim wheels contracts, word traps, duels of wits. Challenge him to such a duel. He'll agree. And can be beaten. But remember, there is only ever one stake. The sole thing he truly desires. Human souls. Odim left a mark on my face. Any way to get it off? A mark? No mention in the tomes. Strange. Unless... Unless it will disappear once your pact is fulfilled. If I challenge him, end the pact that way, will it go away? That I do not know. The one man who succeeded bore no mark. Thanks. Helped me a lot. Good. Very good. Ah, oh, to feel useful after so many years locked up, living in fear. Why, it's pleasance itself. Ah. <laughs> 